alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Hanifa Adam and welcome to Iftar with the Chef. So today I'm going to be preparing for you peppered beef and coleslaw. We are going to combine the sweet and spicy and savory taste of the peppered beef and combine it with the coleslaw. I'm going to be needing scotch bonnets and tomatoes to wrap the beef in and the beef. I'm going to later cut them into tiny pieces, marinate it with seasoning and salt. This is what I'm going to use for the coleslaw, white cabbage, red cabbage, carrot. I'm combining the three colors so that I have a really colorful coleslaw for me on my plate. I'm going to use the onion for the seasoning, seasoning cube and salt. I'm going to cut up the beef into smaller cubes. And while I'm marinating them, I'm going to prepare my salad and pepper. I'm just going to cut them up into small cubes because we are going to be frying them up and we want everything to cook through. We are going to want to remove all the fats. We don't need them in the peppered beef. After cutting up everything, I'm going to put it back in a small bowl. Add some salt and one seasoning cube. And then mix it all up together. The longer you marinate it, the tastier it is. So I'm just going to put it aside and prepare the pepper sauce. I'm just going to clean up the pepper. Rinse it. Three scotch bonnets. I'm going to cut in some onions. Rinse it. And just separate it so that it can blend faster. You can use um, red bell peppers, but I want to use a whole tomato to reduce the hotness of the sauce. So it depends on how hot you want the sauce to be. That would constitute the component of the pepper sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of water. I want it to be really thick and blend it all up. I don't want it to be too blended because I want to see the pepper pieces in the final product. So I'm just going to go on to the kitchen now, cook the meat and the pepper and come out back. I'm going to pour two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to let it become hot, slicing some onions just to give it flavor. And when the oil has become fragrant, so I'm going to pour the blended pepper, tear it off. and continue stirring it. We are going to be stirring it all up until it dries and it's very thick, especially the sauce. So 
so we want of course we want the oil to fry the meat and make it really tasty more oil stirring stirring So I've been stirring it all up for a while now. So you're going to continue stirring till it actually becomes really dry and you get the thick, tasty sauce that we are going for. Now that I've prepared my peppered meat, I'm going to prepare my coleslaw and serve it with it. So what you want to do is cut thin slices of the cabbages. Just something really pretty. And then I'm going to cut the white cabbage. Also the carrots. Okay, just get some cuts from the carrots as well. You can easily use a vegetable peeler to cut the carrot. It will make it more convenient. So I'm just going to make sure they are a smaller cuts and pour it up in a bowl. Add the mayonnaise as much as you like or as little as you like mix it all up together properly it already has a really pretty color and that is why I use the red cabbage and the white cabbage so you can see all the purple the white and the orange on it I'm going to just serve it with the pepper beef now. There you have it. Habibi, halal, habibi, 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 halal, habibi. I'm about to start eating my meal now. I can't wait to dig in. This meal, that. I'm just going to get some pepper and the coleslaw. Also carrot. Okay. <laughs> I love the subtle spiciness of the meat with the creaminess of the coleslaw. It's a wonderful combination.